Hi there, this is a video uh, that's a continuation from number 125, the previous video, which was all about ArcGIS Pro and Coded Domains. In this video, um, I'm going to continue with um, ArcGIS Pro and, and ju just, just sort of um, put a bit more detail on domains, coded domains and, and also ranges, and just, just show you a couple of other things about domains particularly when it comes to editing features. So let's just crack on. So from from my previous video, you can see in data design and fields that that water quality field is got a domain called WQ. So that's what we did last time. Okay, so WQ is just like good, poor, acceptable, etc. So um, if I go to edit and um, let's do a split and select this feature click on the line and just cut the feature bisect it right there just along the road okay let's just clear the selection now I've split the object if I click on that one you can see it comes up with the water quality null click on that one it comes up with water quality null so what's happened is the default sort of action for split is actually not to carry any data across or anything um, it's just to uh, effectively reset what the default value is and actually my default value is is um, null um, I haven't really set one so how could we deal with that to force it to go to default value or duplicate what's already there so the way to do that let's just um, go back to edit and discard my changes that was the split on the waterways so that line is now back to normal that geometry shape is now a whole um, object with good. Let's go to data design on my layer and go to uh, domains and look at how domains is set. Well, as you can see, um, when we created it, we put a domain name, a description, what it's storing, what it's going to use. There's the codes, P for poor, etc. That's actually what gets stored in the database, so it doesn't have to store loads of stuff, saves a bit of space, uh, but that's what's presented to the user, poor, acceptable, etc. But if you split or merge an object that uses this, what happens? Well, I actually want you to just duplicate what the value is in, from the domain. Let's save, and now you'll see what happens. I'll uh, go to edit, I'll do a split, I'll select the object, and I'll split it. Double click. Now it's split to two. And if I just click on this one, it now says water quality good. And on the other new object, water quality good. So it's created both of these objects now with uh, what was there before, which was good. So that's what happens with split. And of course, the other one was merge. And it does much the same thing when you, when you merge objects together. So that's um, what you can, um, how you can handle that sort of geometry change. Let me just go to edit and discard and put it back to normal. One of the things you can do in the data design and looking at fields, when you've got a domain, you can still set the default. So don't forget, you can click on default and uh, you can see default and here, it'll present the same drop down list. So you can select one and that will be your default. So by default, I might just say, well, whenever I create a new object or anything, it just comes up as acceptable, for example. But anyway, so don't forget, you can you can um, set that uh, as a default. So I'm gonna actually set it's null. Um, another thing you can do uh, while you're here, actually, just to, just to show you is to use highlight. So I can go to my W quality field, that's this one, and press highlight checkbox. So what does that do? Well, let's just save it. Save the change, it's still a change, just check, checking that box. And and now when, I, when I'm in edit, uh, let's do that split again. And it's on that, or indeed any um, editing attribute option. Um, it's, and if we look at the attributes whilst in edit mode, Let's just uh, select it. You can see that it's got this yellow sort of highlighter, and that's all that does really. Let's just 
just a highlighter and you can have uh, multiple. Um, let's just do another domain um, change, a, a, a new one. Let's discard changes. Let's go to uh, data design and domains. Let's, let's create a new domain. Let's call it, I don't know, um, rating. How about um, some kind of rating, WQ rating. And this is a rating from one to five. Okay. Um, where do we do best? Uh, yep. Um, and this is just a short number, but this time it's a range. It's a, a set of numbers that uh, the user can choose from. So in here it says minimum, maximum. So I'll say the minimum is one. Um, and the maximum you can put in is five. Okay, probably uh, let's change that around actually. Let's put where five is best, makes more sense. Uh, and of course, you've got your policies again split and merge. What are you going to do with those? Um, well, because they're numbers, you could actually do a geometry ratio to so split it exactly in half. You know, and the number's two, it's going to end up with one on each. Uh, that sort of thing. So again, and then there's merge area weighted, particularly if it's uh, an area, obviously, uh, or if you're merging um, two lines, it'll just sum the values, uh, or two areas, it'll just sum them. So there's still policies there. Let's save that. Okay. And now in here, let's add a field. So I'll say new field, and I'll say uh, my rating. We know it's a short, so that's how short numbers. Um, and then to the domain, change the domain to, and don't forget, you can add new ones in there. You can jump straight to that if you like, but I usually create them first. WQ rating, okay. And again, what's the default? So let's just save this. Uh, close it and let's see what happens. So if we now go to, so we're in edit, um, what, are we, what are we doing? Go to attributes and look at rating. And you see you've got these little up and arrow and down arrows where you can change the numbers. You can actually change them to anything, but watch what happens when I go beyond five. Okay, you get value does not fall within domain, which is called WQ rating. Uh, and so you, it, value six is not within range of one to five. So you have to put in that um, appropriate value. And that's what that does. That's what number range, uh, the domain does. It forces entry between two numbers. Um, let's, uh, let's apply those, but let's discard everything I just did. Um, and if you look actually back at data design of fields, the same goes for the default. So if we go to default here, and let's just say the default is seven. And look what happens. It immediately says, oh no, um, that is invalid for this for this rating. So it, can't, it does a check there as well. So um, uh, let's say the default is actually three, which has gone green here, this green box, which is correct. And don't forget, I could drag this up to there, make it put those water quality fields together. Let's do a save. Okay, then finally on domains, um, uh, how do you know you could create quite a few? How do you know where they're used? What's using them? You know, what, which which layers here are using domains? Well, you can you can look at a um, domain by uh, going to data design and, and um, domains normal, but you see there's this button up here called domain usage. If you click on that, you'll see um, uh, that defaults to whatever workspace you've got, which is clip demo in that, actually in this case, you've got open. And then you can select whatever domains are in the workspace. So what about WQ? Does a scan, it's just in OSM waterways and it's W and it's W quality field. Okay, what about WQ rating? It's found it in again the same layer and the field's called my rating. So actually that's um, pretty pretty handy really if you certainly if you've got a lot of domains. Uh, and of course, if you try and delete one, you see it's put a line through it and stuff, let's save. But look, it's gone red. Why has it gone red? Because 
it is part of, so it's not really gone, it's part of this field. It's, it's in use by that field. So we'd have to remove the domain to set that to blank. Set save or remove the field itself, of course. And then if I um, go here and save, it goes green and disappears. So it knows it's no longer in use. And indeed, um, it won't show up anywhere in domain usage. It's just WQ because I deleted the other one. So anyway, I hope you find that useful. There's a few extra things there about domains. And um, yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.